Hello and welcome to Thoughts From A Car. My name's Carl. I'll be your host for the duration of the video. Uh, those that have seen these videos before will have noticed that these little videos aren't always from a car. I've done one from a boat, one from a lake. Today, I'm going to do it from a bridge. Uh, to be specific, that bridge. And I'm going to go up it to the very top, being a representative of the seaway. Uh, on behalf of the city of Port Colburn, I'm going to be shooting some photographs and some video. And uh, having a really great time. I'll see you up there. The Clarence Street Bridge in Port Colburn is one of three. The main one goes across Main Street and Highway Street, but the downtown one here is the one closest to the residence heart because this is the one that takes us to grocery stores, bars, restaurants and all the wonderful things that happen on the West Street for nowadays. As you can see here we've got a few people crossing the bridge at this stage. Of course they can't cross the bridge when the bridge raises to allow traffic through and you'll see a heck of a lot more traffic on the bridge before the end of this video. So here we are, this is me wearing my little hard hat because Mike Bishop process support coordinator uh, from the seaway is here and he's the guy that's uh, helped me not fall off the bridge which is really good the view from up here is amazing as you can see we're way at the top uh, that's the Welland Canal with a ship coming through it and two off in the distance that's downtown Port Colburn and of course this is the canal my house is over there and we'll be filming from various angles and shots across the uh, seaway including West Street, which you'll be seeing shortly, but uh, not right now. For now, I, go, I have to go and take some photographs, so back soon. Let me wear this hat. It's kind of cool. But the view from here is amazingly good, and it's even better when it goes up. It, you've probably seen that where you're about to. Depends how I cut the video. Anyway, this is me on the bridge. Isn't life great? This is a control room, which I'm not going in there. Uh, security. I may do something foolish, like explode the universe. But... Um, I'm allowed on this part, which is good. And in about five minutes, the next boat's coming along and we're going to be going up and uh, see you from there. The Clarence Street Bridge is one of the few remaining lift bridges on the canal. Depending on which way you're going, north or south, uh, this is either the first or the last of the bridges. It's titled Bridge 21. Uh, just to avoid any confusion here, it's not bridge number 21, there are not that many bridges. It's 21 miles from Lake Ontario to this bridge. Uh, the mile markers get the bridges in there. And this particular bridge, as I mentioned before, is the kind of heart of downtown. And it covers all the traffic. I like to jokingly refer to this as the bridge that is four miles across because if the two bridges are up, you have to go across Main Street and back down. And even if you can see where you're going, side frequently can. They can be frustrating. Um, having said that, the view from the top of the bridge is amazing. And if you're coming through on the canal itself, of course, on one of the boats, it's fantastic. Um, horses for courses, it's a necessary part of life, and you get used to it. It's a pace of life, then you really get used to it. The Welland Canal is responsible for a huge amount of freight between the US and Canada in both directions, of course. It's part of the St. Lawrence Seaway system which connects the two countries and heads out to Toronto and all points north, east and west. Interestingly enough, if you're interested in statistics, we get about 40 million tons of cargo per year through the Welland Canal. Uh, that's carried by roughly 3,000 Ocean and Great Lakes vessels. There's a lot of pleasure craft as well, of course, which come through. Uh, but this is a commercial seaway, so what happens is that the seaway give priority to the commercial traffic, as they should. 
which can be frustrating if you're on a boat trying to get through um, for your own purposes because you get stuck behind them. Having said that, it's all good, barely a problem. There have been some accidents on the ground. I'll leave you to look those at yourself. Frankly, it's not something that's worth worrying about. The maximum height of these things is 116 feet because of the restriction placed on it by the Garden City Skyway in St. Catharines. Any higher than that, they hit the bridge. You don't want that to happen. The Empire Sandy is one of the focal points of the four-day event known as Canal Days, although by no means the only one. It's a three-masted schooner now, originally out of Newcastle in the UK via Glasgow. The Sandy is 200 feet long with a mast height of 116 feet. And I know that because I've been to the top of it. If you've seen the videos in my YouTube channel, you will see me being hoisted up there on the Rose's chair. Quite a way up and quite a view. It really is worth it. You know, I focus a lot on the boats, but it's not all about the boats. We have daily concerts with some of the biggest names in Canada. Fill the market square. There's no trouble, there is no hassle. Everybody comes and has a great time and goes home happy. That's what it's all about. Come on down and see us. Port Colvin is a really nice place to spend a few days if you are ever at a loose end on the August holiday weekend. Please come down and see us. There's always room for more. We really enjoy having people around. And you guys make it fun to be in town too. You know? So, um, always welcome to see new faces. Pop on down, we'll see you then. The bridge isn't always up. Just remember that.